as you can see we are continuing with the sixth exercise of laguna 1 arbeids book we have already done the first part of the laguna 1 arbeids book in a previous video please check it out so let's continue with this exercise it's given we heist das of deutsch we we know how heist is called as das of deutsch so deutsch means german in german basically okay so what do you call this in german ergens in sie completed so let's just look at this box over here der zug which means a train the uber is a clock das taxi is a taxi der abfall is a dustbin please note it down the information which means information das gleis which means a platform der zoo is a zoo der park platz which means the parking lot or parking space provided okay der bus which means a bus which means a bus i'm sorry the toilet which means a toilet okay so please take your time pause the video and fill this with the help of the box and then let's continue please pause the video and do it okay i hope you are done writing so this is you can see a picture here with the i which means a information right so it is the information um you are right yeah it's a train now so it says there D is a platform, right? So das gleis. Abfall. It's given. Abfall is a dustbin, and it is masculine. So it's there. Abfall. What is this? If it, it looks like a bus, right? Yeah, right. It's there bus. There bus. This is das taxi. there is again a sign board with a p in it which means there park plats what is this a picture with a man and a woman so this is a toilet so what is the gender of toilet in german it's d d toilet okay it's it's important to remember the german I mean genders in german please remember it last there is a dolphin which is there zoo also one thing you have to notice here all the nouns are starting with a capital letter irrespective of the position place word that is the key even here you can see deutsch is in capital so one thing you have to remember is the nouns in german always begin with a capital word capital letter correct okay Okay, let's go, let's go to the next exercise, which is was passed. So what suits? So, okay. So let us see what is happening here. Let's see the greetings here. What is just guten tag? Guten tag means good day or hello, something like that. It's a greeting. Okay, it's very common greeting in German. Next is tschüss. Tschüss means a informal goodbye. Okay. Auf Wiedersehen. Guter Reise. So. Auf Wiedersehen means see you later. Guter Reise means happy journey. So we are saying see you later, happy journey. What is over the moon? You should have remember that picture in the course book where a a shopkeeper, a female shopkeeper, a female saleswoman is accidentally pouring a cup of juice onto a passer by and she is saying oh first i young which means oh sorry and what is this danke für die blumen which means danke means thanks thanks for the flowers the blumen flowers okay so let us see we have to match which suits here can you try it post a video and please try it once
okay so in the first bit we can see that a lady is is traveling somewhere and a man is saying bye so it is of reader zin guta riser okay which means of reader zin happy journey okay so he say see you later have a happy journey have a nice and safe journey then the second picture we can see some flowers in the man's hand and this lady is saying something so it would probably be what danka fur the bloomin yes so she is saying thanks for the flowers okay yeah next what is this two people are walking and maybe they just clash into each other yeah and they are saying and this person in particular is saying oh fuzza yung i'm sorry okay d bit is two people are parting and they are saying i mean they are meeting maybe here not parting they are meeting and it's saying guten tag this lady is saying guten tag so they are greeting each other yes as you can see in the d bit two people are greeting each other so it will be guten tag what is this two people are facing opposite each to each other are standing opposite to each other we facing the other way and saying something like farewell right yeah so it will be a goodbye which means cheers okay which means a goodbye i hope you are done with this exercise let's try this so we are already familiar with the vocabulary i guess we saw all these words in the picture right yes so mansionam banhofen kurs book so it's just you have to fill it please pause the video and fill it i'll give you one minute okay so what is this there zaft it will be a zaft yunga you you're right reporter yeah police stin correct bloomer b taxi a hotel h zengarin will be a n again mansion will be a h what is this tourist and the last will be telephone so if we see this whole highlighted thing will be hoft bahnhof which means a central station okay so this is a puzzle i hope you enjoy doing this puzzle i really enjoyed it when i did the first time let's come to the ninth um, exercise which is ergens and z again we have to fill the gender of the nouns now so what is bloomer bloomer is flowers it is the bloomer fazayo it is the bloomer what is telephone which means a phone normal telephone it is dust telephone it's neutral gender zaft what is a zaft here yes zaft is a juice 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 yes so it is their zaft next what do we have a taxi what is a taxi it's a taxi again das taxi geld automat it is der geld automat which is a atm i can give you a tip here words ending with automat will always be masculine in gender it can be any kind of automat okay it need not be uh, geld geld means money okay so it need not be geld it can be one word which means toffees candies anything it can be any word any noun ending with automat will be a masculine gender word okay 
One next it is younger. It is yeah, you are right. They are younger. Mention is a girl. It is does mention. It's neutral. Mention is neutral, not the okay. They are tourist. Reporter is again they are reporter. Hotel. Yeah, you would be familiar with this. Does hotel. These younger in female here. Female singer. Okay. Babi. Does Babi. Baby. Okay. Next. The fair coifer in. Very good. Does. Geshenk. What is a Geshenk by the way? It is a gift. Film. Film is a film which is their film. Okay. I hope you don't have any questions in this exercise. Let's come to the last exercise of this lesson. So they have given us a picture here which has a lot of things. There is, there are flowers, there are ATM machines, there are taxis, juices and each are in its own number. So there are two hotels, so just buy hotels and there are three taxis. Okay, so it's not auto, sorry, it's taxis we can say, dry taxis. Okay, it's all in plural if you can see. Let's see how to write these in plural now. Then what is in four? You can see what is in four here. We can see that the guild automat. Can you see the ATMs? They have four ATMs. So it will be fear, guild, Auto ma ten. Yes, guild auto ma ten, which is the plural form of ATM. ATMs. Yeah, what is in five? So we have five telephones, right? So funf. So funf. Funf. Telephone, which means five telephones. What is in six now? Six. Yeah, juices. You're right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, zefta. Zefta. Six, zefta. Finally, there is flowers which are in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, there is ten. So, zane. Blue mint. One minute. Yeah, blue mint. Which means flowers. Okay. Uh, for young, there is no umlaut in you here. Okay, it's my mistake. Blue mint. So, what is the umlaut now? The, the, the dots we keep, no? Like here and all we are keeping, right? So, this symbol is called as umlaut. Okay? Yeah. So, I hope you are clear with this exercise.